so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this card. So to begin with, I was taking just the jukebox drive and then a stencil, um, which I got from eBay. Um, and I thought it would work, you know, but it turns out it really doesn't. So you're going to see me, you know, ink blend and then use some clear paste, which is by Lawnfawn. And I literally only bought this two months ago. And I don't know what it is. It was sealed tight. I made sure of that. You know, I made sure it wasn't in direct sunlight, but for some reason it still managed to dry itself out. So, you know, I added some water to try and, you know, make it workable, but it didn't really work for me and I ended up hating the entire look. But I didn't want to waste the card base because I already wasted one the other day. So I really wanted to, you know, try and figure a way of using the same card base. And it's not like I'm sending this to anybody. It's just going to be in my craft space. You know, so I don't know. I need to contact Longfawn about it and just see what they say. But, like, I can't even get it today. Um, that was me trying to open it. But I've added water and it seems to have done the trick. Um, maybe that's all it was. Um, but I still didn't necessarily like the look of the overall card, so I ended up just changing it entirely. So this is what it looks like, and as you can see, it just, it doesn't look that great. And it turns out the music notes were too big for the jukebox anyways. So I'm going to colour the jukebox in, and then for the background, I ended up taking the musical notes that came with the stamp set and just using them. I then also did some heat embossing, um, I don't know if I showed it on camera, so everything I use is going to be linked in my description for you guys, and I do get a lot of questions about my Distress Oxides, um, because obviously I'll link some from eBay, I'll link some from Dice to Die For, or Seven Hills, um, the reason I do that is simply because it's the cheapest I found it, so sometimes I buy them off eBay and it, it works out cheaper to buy them through that rather than through an official site. So I tend to link the cheapest product that I can give you. Um, so that's the only reason it's different sometimes. And yeah, I definitely recommend checking prices first um, instead of just buying all sorts. Like the other week I bought some stuff off Seven Hills and you know, it technically worked out cheaper to buy the Distress Oxides from them simply because I was already ordering some stuff anyways. So it all just depends on like delivery prices and how many you're buying and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely do your checks before you buy stuff. So I'm going to insert some music and I'll talk to you guys when I need to. So this card is actually for the holiday hop, which I do every month. And the card I'm making is for National Music Day. So I don't know where I'd be without music. So let me know down in the comments who your favourite artist is at the moment. I have a couple which I'm really loving, um, so it's Avery L, um, Angelina Jordan, and Fozia. So if you've never heard of any of them, maybe check them out, um, I highly recommend. And yeah, so I'm going to insert some music guys and I'll talk to you guys when I need to. See you in a bit.
so I brought in aged mahogany and black soot again so I'm just doing heat embossing resist um so I use cosmic shimmer true white detail to stamp my sentiment my sentiment came from the jukebox drive set and it just says I can't remember what it says um <laughs> oh my god what does it say all oh, right yeah for the record you rock sorry guys i really didn't know what my sentiment was um but yeah i'm just adding some black soot to the ends just to age this up so i tried to make the 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 first card work um i placed everything on the card where it would p be put and it just didn't look right and i just wasn't happy with the overall look so like i said i ended up bringing in the little footnotes and yeah i added 3d foam adhesives to prop up the jukebox and then I also did foam and tape to the sentiment strip and I think this overall look was just so much better you know and I think that's like the creativeness about you know sometimes going in without a plan and stuff so normally I would plan ahead what I want to do and you know how it's going to work and stuff and sometimes I have no idea and on this day all I knew is I needed to do a music theme card and I had no idea what to do with it so but I ended up bringing in the Rojo or Rouge embellishment sets from Little Things by Lucy's and I added Wink of Stella to the jukebox. But that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed and if you do make sure you like and subscribe, follow me over on Instagram and check out the hop and yeah I hope you guys can learn from my mistakes and yeah I will see you in my next video guys, stay safe and happy crafting, bye guys. Thank you.